Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. Man, <clears throat> so Makita Cookies? Oh, yeah. So a family business. that's a family business. Um, yeah. But, I mean, you know how we always do, man. We yes. always talk about because we know how long that family, uh, that, that business been in you guys' family? Uh, it's Six been uh, 22 years. It'll be 23 years this year. Okay, mm -hmm. let's go back and then we'll go up, huh? Yes, but we want to know a little bit about you, not only just about the business as well. So tell us about how was it growing up in um, in a household with entrepreneurs, because your mom and dad are entrepreneurs. How was it as you being a child growing up in that atmosphere? Well, it didn't it didn't really start off like that. You know, I'm 38 years old, so okay. um, you know, my mom was a hard working woman. You know, they were both matter of fact, my dad, they're both in the medical field actually. Oh, that's what they were doing before. They, that's what they were doing okay. before, and um, you know, Makita just came, you know, with my great grandmother. She was the uh, uh, one of the uh, cooks in the the city, Memphis City School System. So that's how we got the recipe, and my dad went with it. But um, growing up, you know, it was mainly my mom working hard, my dad working hard. Me going to school, just make sure my grades were good. We didn't really get Makita's until I was like. 14, 15 years old. So. What inspired them to do that? Um, actually, um, Makita, actually, that was my cousin. She mm -hmm. died of leukemia when she was six, you know. So my parents decided to open up a business in her honor, you know. And we already had the recipe, and no one no one else had that recipe. You know, everything changed, you know, throughout the school system, you know. So when they found it, you know, when my great grandmother, you know, passed it on, it was just like, man, we need to do these because no one else is doing them. You See, know? I always hear about people, especially not hear about it, but you even watch movies and yeah. you hear that this recipe was passed down from generation to generation, but I've never actually met somebody who has said that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I think that's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. She worked really hard in the school system. So, I mean, Man, it's it's been it's been an experience, you know, dealing yeah. with a lot of, you know, a lot of strong, you know, wielded women in my family, like a lot of powerful women, you know, from generation to generation, you know. So to be able to be the one to carry that name and to carry that legacy, it means everything to me. I'm completely blessed. How many siblings do you have? I actually just have uh, two other siblings. I have an older sister, mm -hmm. Tamika. Shout out to my sister, Tamika. And uh, I have a younger brother. Um, so he's the Maurice. only boy. He's the only. How old boy. is he? Man, that's the prince of the kids. <laughs> he he owns the throne. I just want everybody to know. How, how old is he? He's twenty six. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah, twenty six, yeah, yeah. and he has three beautiful kids. I love him so much. He's all the only girls. one with kids. You know? All girls. It's one girl and two boys. Oh, okay, I just, yeah. I just thought that all these girls coming down in your generation. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. So yeah. when that so yeah, fifteen. You remember when the business first started off? Did you? Because mm -hmm. I we've been here for fifteen years, and mm -hmm. and our kids, you know, they grew up in this store. Uh, shout out to my son. He's somewhere in here, but he didn't uh, really. You know, these kids, they didn't want to participate. I forced it up on them. I gave it to them. I injected this 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 whole culture onto them of working, having your own business, mm -hmm. and 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 they was they was fighting it. They yeah. didn't, you know, they they see their friends working for companies. They want to go work for another company. They yeah. don't want to work at the place. What we've had seven stores here in Dallas, and and yeah. and it's just like. Trying to convince my children has been the hardest part of it. Now, my younger kids, they grew up in it. But yeah. my older kids, they kind of was like you when you started. And they was like, okay, I see what he's doing, but I don't know if this is for me. Right. So how was it for you just embracing the uh, Yeah, Makita did you want to do it? No. <laughs> there we go. I, I should have figured that, you know. I mean? um, man, I'm such a hard worker. I wasn't, I wasn't looking into being in the family business. I, I work extremely hard. I've, man, I've had... I've had so many jobs. I, I can't even, man, from Walgreens to, um, man, um, what is it? One of those furniture places. I can't remember. I think it's Renner Center, uh, Family Dollar. Man, I'd have been mm -hmm. somewhere everywhere. My, uh, the post office was the last stop. That's what I, you know, I was like, well, shoot. I've been wanting to be a part of the post office for a while. It's easy to just put mail in the mailbox, you know. But before you so, moved around to all those different places, you had to work at a shop and I know did. the basics of how to run that shop. Yeah, yeah. As I much did. as you didn't want to be there, you still time. had to be there. Yeah, I didn't. Because you, you know, didn't like it. 
I ain't like it. That's just say, as long as you live under our roof, you have to do what we say. Yeah, it was certain times they made me go. I yeah, had that's to what go, we do. You know? But yeah. at the end of the day, when you did get older, when did you learn to, did you re-embrace it? Because a lot of times, like, I ain't going to lie, I got to put him on the spot. My son, when he was 18, yeah. shout out to that boy over there. He told me, <laughs> uh, I'm going to the NFL. Oh. Uh, yeah, when I had a store in the country. I said, man, what are we going to do with the store? He said, Dad... I'm going to the NFL. Nigga, what? <laughs> <laughs> so, so and, and we had to close the store down. But anyway, down there. So, yeah, at 18, he count, but now he, he embraces it again. So yeah. when did you get back to saying, okay, I still can rock And what caused it? you to do that? Yeah, it was probably um, maybe around maybe four or five years ago. Okay. Yeah, and what caused me is because I saw how hard my parents were working. And... You know, it comes a time when they need somebody to step up, you know. And I've had, you know, a two-year degree in Southwest and things like that. So I, I did, the, you know, the marketing and management account. So I was actually already blessed to be in a leader role. I mean, I was always brought up to be a leader, never a yeah. follower. So, I mean, my parents, when I saw how hard they were working, and I knew it was probably it was almost about that time for them to just chill. They done done so much. And, you know, who better to step up? My brother, you know, he, he got the tools but i don't think he's just ready just yet you know it's gonna take some time so they look you know they look to me so i was like for sure you know and i just i quit the post office like that same day she told me that she really wanted me to come aboard i said all right bet say less you ain't gonna say nothing else. and i just put my two weeks in told him i was gone start working for my family yeah we on boss talk one-on-one yeah we gonna talk